Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for future content. Where do we begin? Today I went and saw Avengers Endgame. And out of all of things, everything's first, I would give it 11 out of 10. This film is just ridiculous. It's it's just epic. There's no other word for it, really. It's if Infinity War, obviously that was billed as a must see event for all moviegoers. This one is the ultimate movie, no doubt about it. For the last ten plus years, I've always had X Men Two and The Dark Knight as my favourite superhero movies. Nothing has beaten them. Obviously, we've had infinity. Obviously, look in the past. In the past decade, we've had Infinity War. You know, we've had twenty-two Marvel movies in total now, and Endgame just blew it all away for me. Say it's three hours and one minute long, but altogether, I think the film's just under uh, two hours and fifty-five minutes, and. The entire time it flew by, and I laughed. I will admit, I had tears in my eyes at certain parts as well, because it's just, I wasn't expecting the emotional hit that this film would give. But again, it's been a film in the making and I've followed ever since, obviously 2008, when Iron Man first came out, you know. I went and saw it then, I loved it, and then I was like, right, okay, how, how good can this go, and... Just with Endgame, you see it. And what I'm about to say, it's not really a spoiler, because the cast have talked about this while they were actually making Infinity War, and Chris Patter actually said it. But obviously, you all expect there's going to be like a huge battle sort of thing, but in one scene, you have every single Marvel Cinematic Universe character ever and i was just i was blown away by everything it was just like oh my god this is the greatest superhero movie ever no doubt about it nothing can beat it and i don't think anything will ever beat it mostly because it's in, they've everyone has invested 10 years of their life into this into this franchise you know the infinity saga is now over and i just absolutely my, my dog's back for some reason don't know why and he's a, he's only a puppy as well, so that's annoying because he, he's a puppy, so he has to do it. But uh, yeah, it's so you know, like I said earlier, it's such an emotional gut punch in the film. Well, quite a way, oh, nearly all the way through, actually. You know, it's it's basically like laugh, cry, laugh, cry, laugh, cry. It's just like oh my god, it's I never ever thought a superhero film would make me feel like this, you know, that's just, oh, it's just crazy how much a film can make you feel like, you know, and say so when you go through everything, you know, 22 films, including this one now and everything else, and this film is definitely going to make a billion dollars opening weekend worldwide, I can see it happening, yes, it's already made up to this point, I believe, and say at this moment in time, it's half past six in the evening on a Thursday. It's already made 180 odd million worldwide in the first morning of opening. So that's just crazy. It's first half a day. You know, they're saying that, you know, they're going to go around and say that there's, uh, it's easily going to make 260 to 300 million dollars in America this weekend alone, which I can see it doing 100%. It's already broken box office in China. It's 800 to a billion dollars opening weekend. I can see that happening for sure. Be well, I've watched it today. I'm going again on Monday as well to see it cause I'm with, my, with my mates. Because I started with my father today. And it's the first film he's ever seen. That at the end of the film, when the credits start rolling, everyone, and I mean everyone in the cinema, just started clapping and applauding the film. They were hooting and everything. 
and everyone said exactly the same thing. I cried, because I can't believe it made me cry. You know, that's how good this film is. It's 100% the best film I've seen in the last couple of years, without a doubt as well. Best superhero film ever, and to me, it's just oh, it's just been made perfect. Is they were, you know, when I see it again, I probably will pick up other little things and all that kind of stuff. But at this moment in time, to me, there's not a fault with it. The people will find faults; they always do. And I don't want to ruin this for people, but a lot of people know this on my channel. I've talked about Captain Marvel and such, but. I'd probably say in the three hour run time, Captain Marvel's probably in it for about six to seven minutes. And I was over the fucking moon with that. I was ecstatic. But I actually found myself cheering for her in this. I actually liked her in this. So it goes to show that it was just that film. You know, I think it was just that film because the people behind it and the agenda that Disney was doing. And obviously, they were catering for the feminist side. But I urge you people, go out, go and see Avengers Endgame. You will not be disappointed. And who knows, you'll probably cry as well. You'll cry, you'll laugh. And if you need to take a pee, don't. Because it's nearly every single bit in this film is great. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for future updates. And I'll see you soon.